What is going on guys, Thunderbo here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of the Pocket Edition Let's Play, and I feel like an absolute idiot. Why, you may ask? Well, I deleted last episode by accident. So, my laptop is getting rather old and slow, so to speed it up I decided to completely wipe my laptop. And upon doing so, I had to back it up and remove old files that I didn't want, just to make sure that my back, uh, the laptop backup wasn't like cluttered with unwanted files. And being the idiot that I am, I deleted the, all the files for last episode. So when you guys last saw us, we were in the middle of the cave uh, doing some mining around and trying to find some diamonds. And unfortunately, um, the episode that follows, which is the one where we just wound up exploring the whole cave and finding a ton of diamonds, that actually got deleted. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the loot that I got out of the cave. And we got a ton of diamonds, a few more emeralds, a lot of gold, a ton of iron, a ton of redstone, and a ton of coal. So I think we're pretty much set uh, for resources for now. And uh, personally, I really don't see us needing to go back into the caves anymore uh, for the remainder of this series. Because we have plenty of iron to suffice, and we have plenty of diamonds. And uh, all those diamonds are going to go towards... Uh, gear that we will wind up enchanting uh, for our big fight with the Ender Dragon at the very end of this series. So, uh, yeah, I did wind up finding a ton of diamonds, and I did have it all on camera, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to salvage the recording because the audio was gone, and the, audio the recording would have just looked really bad if I didn't have it. So, I just wound up deleting the video, too. But, uh, yeah, today... We're going to shake things up a little bit because we are going to go back into the nether in order to build a blaze farm. So, where's all my stone? I believe it's in this chest. Yeah, okay, so I have a ton of stone brick uh, that I had saved from previous projects. So, I have all this stone brick here and I really don't have a need for it. So, I figured what I could do is turn this into the blaze farm. So... Uh, oh, I could probably use this glass, too. That would be really useful. Oh, and a side note. Um, you probably are wondering where, like, the audio from the game is. And unfortunately, uh, that's not going to happen for now. Uh, right now, I uh, am running on a completely restored version of my computer. And I don't have Final Cut. Um, and I'm currently downloading it right now. But I'm having some issues with the download. So, um... I'm not going to be able to record my audio externally, and I'm not going to be able to have in-game sound. That's a little unfortunate, but either way, that's what's going to have to happen. So, I feel like I'm going to need to make um, a few um, fire resistance potions. Uh, which, what are these? These are just water bottles. Okay, so we're going to need to actually start brewing some potions. I've never brewed potions before. So, we're going to brew some of these fire resistance potions because we're going to be having to deal with a lot of blazes at once so it would be helpful if we didn't burn to death or at least burn up as quickly so uh where is my pickaxe i believe i don't have a pickaxe anymore so we're gonna have to go and craft one while we wait for that stuff so let's just make an iron pickaxe nothing too fancy right now so uh our potions should be just about done okay while they're wrapping up, I'm going to tell you guys what's going on with the channel. So, for the last month or so, I really haven't been able to record anything because I had final exams and whatnot. Basically, the entire month of December was testing uh, for college. So, now I am home. I'm going to be able to record all the videos that I want. And uh, I'm going to try getting out uh, multiple videos per week. I'm going to try going for three or four, maybe even more. Um, not entirely sure what's going to happen with that, but either way, I'm going to try going for as many videos as I can per week to make up for all of the recording that I didn't do throughout the school year. And, uh, oh, here they are. Yeah, see, fire resistance, eight minutes long. So we have plenty of fire resistance potions. Um, I really don't know if we're going to need more, but either way, we're going to have to run into the nether. We have all our gear. Um... Gear-wise, like, armor, I feel like we should upgrade our stuff real quick, but, I mean, 
and this should be good enough. If it's not, then we can always upgrade it. But either way, let's head on down to the nether portal. Ouch. Head on down to the nether portal and go and enter and, you know, do our stuff with the blazes. It's been a while since we actually used this portal. Wow. Throwback to when I built this, like, how many episodes ago? And how many years ago is that? Like, two years ago? A year ago? I don't even remember. But, uh, yeah, this is the nether. Haven't been here in ages. So all we have to do is follow the torch path, and we will be at our, um, at our nether fortress. So, in order to build one of these, I really don't know what you have to... Where'd this come from? Oh, hello. Hello. It's a good thing that I... Whoa, it's a good thing that I looked up, because whoa, all of a sudden, your gas fireballs shoot so much faster. Ow, I can't even hit you. The, your gas balls are moving so fast. Okay, we need to get out of here, out of here, out of here. Ouch. Man, I wish I had my volume on. This sucks. Okay, we're just going to have to run out of here as fast as possible. Try not to get blown up. Where are you? You are still right above me. Ow, my god. Okay, we need to drink up one of these fire resistance potions. Ow, ow. Okay. At least we won't burn to death anymore. But now we need to make the most out of our time with these fire resistance potions. So let's try running away from this ghast because, my god, this ghast is really just hot on our tail right now. I do not like that. I do not like that at all. Ow. This dude's probably going to try fighting us. He is definitely going to try fighting us. What? Are you just a burning zombie pig, man? I think you are. And did you drop any armor? I don't think you dropped any armor. No, you didn't drop any armor. That is a little unfortunate, but either way. Let us head to the nether fortress. Okay. I believe it's around here. Yep, here we are. Okay, so... Where's our glass? Okay, we're going to want to plug up this for now, just to trap them in there. Now, I feel like it would be useful if we could trap them from the outside. So, okay, well, they're all in here. This isn't good, so we should probably put a cap on it like this. Hello? Thank you. Oh, boy. Stop. Okay. Need to fight you too. Okay, well, I have to wait for him to come down. But either way, I believe we managed to plug up this hole. So they shouldn't be spawning outside it anymore. Unless, wait, did you just come down from the top? Yeah, you did. Okay, that's good. Okay, so what I'm going to probably wind up doing is clearing out all this. I can just see all the angry blazes. Damn, they are pissed. And I feel like, man, how much time do I have? I have two minutes left. Okay. I feel like I should dig inside just to, um, I feel like I should be digging inside to, like, block off Ow. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Die, 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 die. What is going on? Why am I glitching around so much? What the hell? Okay. I believe... I have sealed off most of what needed to be sealed. Oh no. Oh no, they are still here. They are still coming. They are so... What the hell? Are you serious? What was that? Okay, you know what, guys? I need to figure this out. I'll be, I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, so you're probably going to be pretty mad at me for doing this, and my god, what is with my phone? Oh, hello, 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 thank you, goodbye. Okay, need to drink up one of these. But uh, either way, you guys are probably going to be pretty mad at me for doing this. I went into creative mode to get my stuff back. Uh, yeah, basically, there was nothing I could really do because um, there were just way too many blazes that were spawned, and there was no way that I'd be able to retrieve my stuff, or let alone even work on the blaze farm if there were that many blazes around so i had to go into creative mode to kill them all and then i figured while i was at it 
I could prepare uh, the remaining uh, area like this because that was just going to be way too much digging to do. And I also disabled the spawner temporarily. So uh, I know I did quite a bit in creative mode and I sincerely apologize for that. But really, uh, this would have taken hours at this point. And I really didn't want this to take that long. So uh, I just decided to speed up the process. And what I'm just going to do now is fill in the walls um, with stone bricks. So that way I can cap off... Whoops. That way I can cap off this, um, this area. So... I should probably just wrap this around, yeah, I should probably find a way out of here. Okay, you know what, screw it, for now we're just going to have to build our way up, just like this. Okay, so now we're back at the top, I can continue lining this um, with these stone bricks, that way I can fill in the roof, and um, okay, let's just continue filling in the roof. And then just bring that around, and then all we have to do now is fill in this area. So, blazes should no longer spawn outside here, and if they do, um, I don't know. I should probably put some torches on the top, just to make sure that they don't spawn outside. Uh, so, let's just finish filling in this, and we should be basically done at this point. Uh, there's not much else to do. Um, we're just going to seal off this access way just to make sure that nothing comes down and tries fighting us. So this is the blaze spawner. Um, oh, I should probably go inside, take out this, and then remove all the torches. Now, one the one remaining thing that I have to do is, um, is reactivate the spawner. So I reactivate the spawner by tapping it with a, um, with a blaze egg. So I'm just going to dig up these torches, and uh, then I'm going to pop back into creative mode to uh, reactivate the spawner. Now, the way that this blaze farm works is very basic, really. There's not much to building one of these. Uh, basically, what happens is the blazes, they'll spawn, uh, and they're going to want to attack you. Um, oh, is, he gonna, is that blaze going to try sending down some fireballs? I don't know, but either way, they're going to try attacking us. And um, they're not going to be able to because they're going to be trapped in here. And they're going to move over towards this window. Um, and they're going to like start falling into here. And eventually what they should do is make their way into that center piece. Which if I sneak over it, this area drops all the way down. And then they're trapped in there and they can't fly out. Because um, I forget how the flying mechanic works. But like there has to be like a certain number of spaces around them in order to fly. So once they go inside this little trow... Uh, basically, they just fall down inside that hole, and then we can go down into the basement area of this uh, blaze farm. Uh, let me just swing back around over here. Basically, all we have to do is go inside here, and then hop on down here, and we can just easily kill them, and they just fall inside that hole. So it's a pretty useful little mechanism, and it works like a charm. I've seen this done in other videos. Uh, we should probably... Watch this guy. Uh, he's not firing on us. Okay, we're fine. But, uh, yeah, okay. So, how much time do we have left? Three minutes, 50 seconds? Okay. Um, I'm gonna pop back into creative mode. Um, here we So, we just pop into creative. Uh, give ourselves a blaze egg. Spawn blaze. There we go. And all we have to do now is... No, no, no. You're staying in here. You are staying in there. Okay. Well, I don't think that they're going to actually come out of here anymore, so we can just pop back into survival and see how this blaze farm works. So, with the blaze farm now reactivated, um, I don't think there's going to be much of an issue here, so let's just actually seal off this just with some glass. And, you know, just so that way that dude doesn't try shooting inside here. Okay, so... Already, I could tell that this is starting to work. So I'm just going to build this over here, right? And they're going to try attacking us. And eventually, what they should do is they should start uh, going inside that little area and then falling down that hole. So I think we got one of them just like inside. Oh, yep. And there he goes. Oh, no. He, he jumped out. Okay. What if, what if we went a little over? Just a little over like this. So that way we're kind of like at eye level with them. 
I don't know. Oh, there they go. Okay, they're starting to come down here. Okay, I think because, yeah. So part of their mechanics is they start trying to follow you. Uh, so actually, I think we can get a little bit closer to them. Just a tad bit closer to them. Okay, and then we could just whack away at them. And this is our very efficient blaze farm. Wow. I didn't think it would have been this easy. Well, I mean, like, building it was pretty easy because I kind of cheated with it. Uh, really, the only thing that I cheated with, though, is to make sure that I could retrieve my stuff. Like, look at all these blazes up in here. And they're, they're just like, you mad, bro? You mad, bro? Yeah, they, they mad. They mad because they can't attack us. And then they just fall down here and... Wait, can they actually hit us? No, they can't hit us. This is beautiful. Okay, so all we have to do is just sit here and wait. Hope that they fall down. And, um... Yeah, all we have to do now is just tap away and we can kill ourselves a bunch of blazes. Perfect for XP grinding. And gathering up... Oh, I actually have all these blaze spawn eggs. I should probably dispose of these somewhere safe. Um... Because I don't... I don't want to hold on to these, so we're, we're going to get rid of you. We're going to get rid of you. We're just going to chuck you over the edge. And... Gone. Steal that back up, and let's see. How many are we getting down here? None, but... They're going to start coming down. Oh, yep, yeah, I see I see, I see. see little smoke particles. I think they're coming. Yep, there they are. There's multiple down here now. So, this is a very, very efficient blaze farm. Uh, really easy to build, uh, so long as you don't get killed in the process uh but other than that i'm pretty sure this is the end of this episode we're done with the blaze farm so we can scratch that off of the things to do and we can start uh hunting down endermen in order to um fight the ender dragon and locate the stronghold so uh i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the survival let's play if you guys enjoyed be sure to punch that like button right in the face hit that subscribe button to hop on board the thunder train and as always Stay charged, everyone. See you guys in the next video.